Hey, today on Rosalu Tech, I'm going to be showing you how to add a free footer to Weebly. Now, this footer is pretty much exactly like the professional footer, except you're getting it at, uh, bleh, at absolutely no cost. So, all you got to do is go to Design, Edit HTML, says CSS, and the first thing we want to do is, you know, in this box up here, scroll all the way down. And we're going to hide the Weebly advertisement. So we're going to copy some code. And the link to the code I'm using will be in the description. And we're going to enter a couple of lines. And we're going to paste the Weebly footer code. Now, this will hide the Weebly advertisement at the bottom here. You can see it's gone now. Now I push save to apply the setting. And you see it's uh, when I'm editing it, it's still here. But when I publish the website and go to it, can see that the Weebly advertisement is no longer there. So now what we're going to do is add in our own custom footer that we can use and it will remain constant on all the pages like a footer should be. So go back to HTML slash CSS in the main style section here, go to the bottom again, push enter a couple lines and another code you need to put in. Of course the link will be in the description. Enter a couple lines, we're going to paste that in now this is the footer code and you have to keep in mind that uh, it may not fit perfectly with your theme you may need to change the color a little bit and to do that the background color right here this is the background color this will change the background of the footer and then this color right here will change the color of the text in the footer and that's uh, you know pretty much all you need to know to get the color correct now you may need to do you know if you're trying to get the color just right you see this code right here. This code stands for white. So uh, you may need to know some color codes. And there's a website in the description that'll uh, you know allow you to find out the color code for a specific color that you can put in there and use. So uh, now that we have the CSS in here, we need to go to the HTML layouts here. So go to the first one, and right underneath this right here, right underneath ID footer you need to put in a little div tag and it goes right underneath it in all the themes same place you put in the little div tag here and uh, you know it's in the description and you need to do that for all of the uh, layouts and so yeah it just goes right underneath that ID footer thing and it should be the same on all the themes like I said and when you do that you push save and now you see I have a footer in here that I can place stuff in. Its, uh, it's color is not quite right, but uh, I'm not going to waste your time in trying to get the right color. And uh, you'll see we'll test something out. We'll put a uh, title in there, maybe some text. Blah, 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 blah. Put it in the center. Blah, 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 blah. Put it in the center. I'm going to publish this site. And we're going to go over here and look at this there is our footer and you know that uh, Weebly advertisement is gone now you, you see the uh, the color is not exactly the same and that's what I was talking about you may need to change that part of the code for the background color and uh, there is a website in the description that will help you find the color codes now once you have all that done you have it customized to your theme you have your Weebly footer for absolutely no cost and yeah, you're done and uh, you know if you like this video please thumbs up share it uh you know check out the playlist and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time